Here's another interactive graph. Uh, but this one's very complex, again, a very specific example, but I'll quickly run through it. Um, if we're using a conductivity standard reference material, let's say that we have 20 milliliters of that, uh, and its standard value is uh, reported at 997. Um, three. And before we pour that into the glassware, let's say that we estimate, in, in trying to estimate our uncertainties, uh, one of the components is how much contaminant there was and how much impact it had on the SRM value. Let's assume that that uh, is about 0.3 milliliters and that its value, because it was a final rinse solution, is very close but not exactly equal to that standard SRM value. So let's take it to, let's say, 990. Uh, so what's happened now is that the calculation for the result shows that the impact of that 0.3 milliliters at a value close to the SRM uh, combined with the 20 milliliters of the SRM at its reported value comes out to a very close value but somewhat short of that value, 997.19 as opposed to the uh, 997.3 reported value. Uh, the chart in, in the blue line indicates as you increase in volume of the contaminant uh, let's say you estimate too low and it actually should be higher. That's going to drop very quickly that value of the SRM from 997.3 to some value below that. We wouldn't expect a large uh, value of contaminant, uh, but this shows on an exaggerated scale what would happen. And um, you can move the values around to see what, uh, what does happen with it. Let's say that we were off and we actually had 10 milliliters or 20 milliliters of contaminant. You can see very quickly that value drops from 997.3, in this case, to 993. What if the uh, contaminant value was not near the SRM value? As that value drops, of course, the y-axis values change uh, to make a more significant impact. And we could drop it very, very uh, large drop in the value of the SRM. So it's very important for this to be used as a tool to estimate what the contaminant value is how it impacts the SRM value so that that can be included in an uncertainty estimation of the applied value.